Hello, Monsters of Anarchy, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and the third part of my Ungrim campaign, which is going very well so far, considering that I forgot to post the first episode to Patreon and YouTube, and then I forgot to post the second one at all. So, <laughs> this is what you pay for. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> What Ant said. Anyway, so we've got Tretch, Tretch coming in. Last time there was a poll. The poll was, do, do we deal with Tretch or do we jump as Hag while he's got his back turned? And uh, most people said, let's jump as Hag, which is... Well, that's what we're doing, Ant. You do need a deck, though, don't you? And maybe a Nigel Farage with a stupidly overpriced fee for being a fucking prick. I almost said cunt, but I don't think you can say that within a minute of the uh, the video starting. So I think we're safe now. Uh, good. It's fine. Um, good. So Tretch is currently on his way. He does have 17 guys. We do have a garrison here, which will be fine. Unless he decides to jump the garrison, which, let's be honest, he's probably going to do. Uh, which means I might have to send Ungrim back to deal with him. But what I really want is some fucking grudge throwers. So uh, we're going to get some of those bad boys up. And then we can, you know, work on what we're going to do next. We finally managed to get some agreements with Thorgrim. He was uh, he was playing hard to get, wasn't he? Eh? Playing hard to get? Has he jumped me? I think he's fucking jumped me, hasn't he? So I bet he's going to jump me. You are not welcome, so I won't pretend otherwise. Lads. Oh. Um. I mean... No. 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 Just no. It's a big N-O on that one, Big Chief. Alright, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Have you bugged? Oh, you buggered off. Alright, fine. That's, that was not what I was expecting. Oh, you... No, go away. Don't plague me. Fuck off. Ant has got cheaper slayers, which is going to help yeah, with our uh, income. Obstinacy? Yeah, I'm pretty obstinate. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's get some Grudge Throws. Let's get some Grudge Throws up in here. And we've got Garrison. We've got a Garrison there. That should be fine. Unless Azhag attacks us with two stacks, which, well, fairly likely. Let us begin. Fairly likely. Uh, no Slayers at the moment. I mean, I'm half tempted to let this increase a little bit just so we get more Slayers. Because. Uh, the Slayer in me seeks death. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've maxed out those guys. Do we want miners? Not really. Uh, is there anything else we can get? Mm, no, just more miners. All right, we won't get more miners because we don't need it. Is there anything we can build? We've got 179 of these. Um, we're making two a turn. Holy shit. Wow, big, big, big money prizes. Uh, we could get some Troll Slayer hide. Meh, none of that, none of that, none of that. Right, no, all right. Anything else? Uh, what we got? Anything, anything new. Oh, if we get salt, we could get the Ring of Grimnir, which is pretty natty. But we don't have that. Uh, enchanted items, anything good? No. What's that do? Mm. It's not bad. Right, what? Hang on. Hang on, where are you? There you are. Ungrim. I, I know you do, mate. Right, you've got a Shrieking Blade, which isn't very good, is it? Should we... Should we? I mean, it's it's just magical attacks, isn't it? Should we fuse those? See what happens. Obsidian lowstone, right? Well, that's terrible. We'll fuse these two. What happens? Come on, something good. Boom, boom, baby, boom. Done it, done it. Executioner's axe. Now that does reduce our melee attack, but Ungrim's got ludicrous amounts of melee attack anyway. It also gives him sundering attacks and extra weapon strength. It means he's going to lower the armor of anyone he hits by thirty, and then also he's going to hurt them a lot. Lovely. That's great. That's good stuff. I mean, we could potentially... Hey, do we have any... No? Oh, because everything's equipped. That's probably why. Okay, is there anything... So I'm thinking... Uh, who, who do we have? Do we have... You got, you're only a runesmith. What about ants? You're over here because you're running away from the plague boy. I mean, uh, you say I say running away. It's not really going to help you very much, is it? Because... Okay, you can have a rune of fury. Have a rune of impact. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. You don't have anything. So, to be honest, anything would be be a bit of a win, wouldn't it? Anything. So, I could give you, like, a miner's pickaxe. It's not bad. Flaming attack. I don't really think that's going to help us very much. Sundering attacks and armor. I think a prospector's pickaxe is actually pretty good, because that's sunder armor. 
like 30 less armor. It's pretty, pretty legit. So we'll grab that one. We'll grab that one. To indeed, indeed to war. Now hopefully Tretch just stays fucked off. I'm hoping Imerick is killing him. Alternatively, anyone else, if they want to kill him. As, as long as someone's killing him, that's all I really care about. What my main concern at the moment, of course, is Azhag, because he is big and scary. I don't really have any answer for him. Apart from hoping that maybe... Oh no, Vlad's doing very badly. <laughs> Could just see Eshin has just gone. They don't... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, can we reach that? No. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna stalk over here. Oh, Tretch is back. Back again. Tretch is back. Tell a friends. Oh, we could also we could just attack him. Do you wanna attack him? He might come out to play. I mean the world edges does have artillery. What do we think? Can't reach him. Alright, just... Okay, you can't hop back in. Never mind, that's fine. If he decides to hop over you, might jump him. Uh, might hop him. Jump him. Thingy me jig. Uh, get some more miners? Mm, militia training. Yeah, let's do something like that. Unless he's got another army nearby, he can't lay siege and then attack us. That's not how that works. I, must fulfill my slayer oath. I mean, I really hope it's not fucking how it works. Fingers crossed. Uh, rune of breaking is... That gives sundered armor. Okay, that's fine. Damage resist. I mean, damage resistance could come in useful. If we can maybe... Uh, I, I think Vlad's getting his arse handed. I've never seen Azhag do this well. Which is... It's a bit of a bugbear. Hello, oh, you've got me ambushed. Oh, fuck, I forgot you could do that. Well... Fuck. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. At first I was like, well, maybe I can get the Slayers out and... Get, get them to safety, and then I thought, ah, fuck it. Let's just, just in for a penny, in for a pound. Just fucking go for it. Go for it, lads. I mean, to be honest, I probably would have been better getting the Slayers out, in hindsight. If I just got the Slayers out of here, because obviously they will die in this battle regardless. I do think with ambushes, it should be the case that if you if you win the ambush, the enemy aren't, any unit that doesn't get off the this bit should just be dead. But, you know, that's just my hot take. Anyway, we're sending the Slayers in. We do have a little bit of debuff, but that is dropping away now. And I mean, our Slayers will make very short work of these Clan Rats. Slice and dice. And this Doom Wheel as well. Of course, they've got a Doom Wheel because he starts with a Doom Wheel. I was trying to get the Ekron Miners to chuck shit at this large blob here, but it proved to be very difficult to actually get them to do that. For some reason, they, they just didn't want to be told to do... I, I guess maybe they were in, in they were engaged or something, but I, I fucking I don't know. Ant is currently laying into the Doom Wheel. It's only got 70... Oh, that's a good shot, that's a good shot, that's a good shot. That's, that's pretty... That's not bad. That's not bad. Only six kills, though. Only six kills. So Ant is taking on the Doom Wheel. Taking a lot of missile fire there and uh, getting, getting pretty wrecked. A little more, a little bit more. Oh, they were targeting the assassin, that's why. They couldn't get a clear shot. I should have targeted the big blob. Never mind. Never mind. The Doom Wheel is taking a lot of damage. Oh, they managed to throw a bunch of central charges into the Slayers. Fantastic. Good, good job there. Well, well thrown. So despite this being a Skaven ambush, we've actually managed to get them surrounded. Um, but they do outnumber us quite, quite significantly. A lot of our units now running away. That Doom Wheel, though, is taking an absolute beating. And just laying into it. Why I, pet? Get in there, my son. So, most of the miners are legging it. Uh, of course, the Slayers will stay until the bitter end. Killing as many rats as possible. 
And I mean, they are killing quite a lot of rats. Tretch's army is... It's taken an absolute beating. His Doom Wheel as well. I mean, his Doom Wheel is almost dead. And that's a unit he will not be able to replace. Oh dear, Ant got punted. Are you alright, bud? Oh, that's not just a warrior dragonfire pass. Where's Ant? Oh, there he is. He's right behind it. Right behind it. I couldn't tell. I, I saw a dwarf in clothes being thrown around, and I instantly thought, oh, that must be... Must be what's it? Oh, he's running away now. He's legging it. He'll, he'll be alright. But that Doom Wheel is down to 638 health. So, um, yeah, Tretch is going to have to heal up if he wants to, to keep that thing. Unfortunately, our Slayers are being dispatched, and the... Uh, the ambush. Oh, I should have just marched back into the city. What was I thinking? Bloody idiot. Bollocks, I always forget to even do that. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. I always forget. Uh, less control. Uh, Ah, uh, fuck it, he likes me anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Fuck, every fucking time. I always forget. For the wisdom of Valea. Bollocks. Oh, God, there's another army coming up as well. And we've got none of those guys. Time for a reckoning. Okay, it says Perry Victory, but I mean, his, his Doom Wheel's fucked. His Death Runners are fucked. Pretty much everything else. Plus, you know, we do have a grudge thrower there as well. So probably fine. Thankfully, we've got our garrison along for the ride. Which is good, because that means we've got a, a grudge bringer catapults. And also a bunch of units that aren't fucking mauled. Unfortunately, no slayers, because they all died. Never mind. They got what they wanted. I mean, probably not exactly what they wanted, but they still, they got what they wanted, so it was the main thing, you know. I aim to serve. So, we do have a couple of assassins running around. Where the fuck did he get a couple of assassins from? He might start with one. At least he doesn't have a fucking warlock. It's something, but we've also got Tretch. So we've got a Doom Wheel that's bad. I mean, it's only got 157 health left. That is not great. That guy is... Well, he's dead, basically. So uh, he will charge in and almost immediately keel over. Where's he going? Is he going for the miners? That I want the miners to sweep around and ideally try and catch up with any missile units because they've got a bunch of, oh, they've got the rattling guns there, escape and save stingers, all that kind of nasty stuff, which we're just going to have to sit here and tank. Doom Wheel is moving in. Takes a few stray shots, not meant for it, and it goes straight for, goes straight for Ant, but Ant just fucking nukes it. Annihilated it in one hit. Our left flank is already starting to waver. Fortunately, we've got miners ready to reinforce. In come the miners on the flank. We need to catch up with those rattling gunners. What they got? Speed 31, speed 34. So they technically can outrun us, um, but they won't be able to shoot us at the same time. So that's something. Oh shit! The storm vermin managed to managed to break through into my fucking grudge bringers catapults. That's not what I really wanted. Never mind. The assassin on the right flank is laying into my Warriors of Dragonfire pass. Not really much we can do about that, apart from keep him occupied while we try and kill off the rest of the enemy army. We do have a bunch of quarrelers, though, so they will be opening fire, taking out those nasty units, and Tretch, of course, big issue. The Rattling Gunners don't seem to be moving very quickly, which means the Miners are catching up with them, and they will put them out of commission, which is great. Meanwhile, we've got a unit of Miners also heading to take out the Plague Lord Catapult. It's going to take them a little while to jog over there, but once they do... Oh, oh those, those guys are going to fucking get it. Going to fucking get it. Oh, this guy's wrecking, wrecking my flank. Um, although the Crossbows are managing to get some shots in. And he is slowly taking damage, so maybe he'll be fine? I 
those Stormbone are very persistent. They just they managed to break through somehow. Like most of their unit is actually over here, but for some reason they they've they say that the banner just bounced back. It's like they managed to break through and just didn't want to. Look, see, they're just chasing me. The fuck off. That's bullshit. They shouldn't be able to do that. They should try and... They, where's the fucking unit cohesion? Fuck off. Get back in your unit, you bastards. I wonder if it's to do with making the units easier to pull out of combat. Uh-oh. I'm talking of pull out of combat. Got an assassin. He's heading for the for the missile units. He's realised that missile units are problematic. That, that guy ran away, though. He's only got 500 health left. Uh, if we can pick off the assassins with missile fire... unload into him. With any luck. Ant and Tretch are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Ant is only level 3. Tretch is level 19. Jesus Christ. How the fuck are you level 19? There's, there's some legendary lords that don't seem to level up and there's some which just seem to get ludicrous jumps in levels and I fuck knows but how the fuck are you level 19? That's bonkers. Genuinely, that's just, just mad. Okay, need to, need to pick off the... Oh, he's only got 233 health left. Can we kill him, please? Kill him. He's making a break for it. Kill him. 233 health points. Come on. Knock him out. Anyone? No? All right, don't worry about him. Okay, we've managed to knock out the Plague Claw Catapult, which is great. The Rattling Guns have been, uh, well, cut down to size. Uh, not many of them... They haven't actually meant, lost many of the unit, though. Escaping slave slingers being routed. And Tretch is. I mean, he's not having the best of times, to be honest. Ant, despite being much lower level, is is kind of better than him. Like Tretch has got, because of his because of his armor debuff. When Ant gets a hit in, he's got less armor, less melee attack, basically less everything. Then he got 65 armor, 70 melee defense. It's taken a while to take out, but he's he's not really doing much damage in return, so that is great. Okay, we have the upper hand now. We just need to keep shooting. Mop up any enemy unit, like things like the rattling gunners, they need to die. Ideally, Tretch needs to be brought down to size. Uh, any storm vermin need to be mopped up. Again, the Storm Vermin with that nasty um, Sundered Armor. Minus 30 armor, which means they only got 66 armor. That's not that good. And the Miners actually do... I mean, the, the melee, attack and def melee defense is terrible, but they do have armor-piercing weapon strength, which means they will cut through those Storm Vermin pretty effectively. And it looks like the enemy army is in full retreat. Now, we're not, probably not going to be able to finish off Tretch, but we certainly can do as much damage as possible to Tretch's army. I mean, I think there's another army incoming, um, so... Hmm. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I wouldn't mind the extra money, but... That's it. Get the fuck out of my life. Oh, can I chase him down? One rug. It doesn't look great. I think we've managed to take out most of his of his nasty units. His storm vermin, his artillery, his rattling guns, all dead. So we're going to hop back in here. We're going to recruit some of this, and I am going to global recruit some artillery. I don't think... Are you in range? I don't think you are. You won't be able to attack us in one turn. You might be able to march up there, and Tretch might be able to throw himself at us. But even then, maybe we'd be all right. I did take a beating. What is his? What's his trait? More leadership during subterranean and and speed. Well, that's amazing. Can't can't fucking wait for that. All oh, right. Okay. I will join your war against those guys. Give me some fucking cash. Good. Good. You've only got one settlement left, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Well. Ow, that actually hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Uh, we'll occupy that one. 
kind of sucked. I was like, this will be fine. Spoilers, it was not fine. Okay, we're going to recruit a lord here. I'm tempted to get you. I'm going to get you. Ah, well, there's... There's trouble. Let's get some... Let's get some slayers. Because, uh... I don't know. Get, slayers good? Slayers definitely not run away anyway. It's something. What can we recruit here? Oh, we've actually got some stuff. So we're going to get rid of these guys. Because, I mean, they've been around for a while. But, um... Yeah, surplus drop requirements. I kind of tend to get the great weapons, but these guys are cheaper, aren't they? Let's go with that. Okay, fingers crossed for here. It would be nice if we'd un... I mean, what level are you now? It would be nice if you were 16. You're only 15. Shit. If we take Castle Drakenhof, that is gold. It is uh, unpleasant, but it's still, it's still gold. But I suspect we're going to have an Azhag. I should have fought that battle, to be honest, because if we've got an Azhag in this direction, it's going to be... It's going to be rough. Not going to lie. It's going to be rough. Oh, I was really hoping that you just leave me alone and fuck off. At least you're attacking the settlement. Your guys are coming in as reinforcements. You'll come in one blob, so we just have to deal with you. And then you'll all come in one blob and hopefully we can just shoot you to death. So, Tretch doesn't have much of an army left, which is good. However, he has friends, which is why we've got... Okay, I've got Ant over here, backed up by what remains of Ant's army. Uh, a couple of miners over here, because I knew there was going to be an assassin somewhere. Nice little shot. And then hopefully, I mean, he's only got 628 health left, so I think we should be fine. Then obviously dealing with Tretch is going to be the main issue. And uh, dealing with the... Well, the, the main issue is going to be the Clan Rex's reinforcements. The fact that they've got two... What is that? Two chieftains and a packmaster? Where the fuck are they getting all these characters from? Holy shit. Where the fuck are they... Anyway, it doesn't matter. They've got two warp fire throws. And those are going to be less useful here. We've got our missile units hiding out on the flank. So the idea is that they will hopefully feed into this throw themselves against the Dwarf Warriors. Our crossbows will just unleash hell directly on their heads. We'll get a tower up with a crossfire. F fingers crossed, basically. I'm taking a little missile fire there, but nothing we can't deal with. Tretch is getting battered, but I really need Ant to get in there with his, uh, his Sunder armor so that we can start ticking away at him. The assassin is dead, and the clan rats are broken, which means these miners can move up to engage the Skaven Slave Slingers. That's good. Tretch is the main problem at the moment. Uh, although, how come the reinforcements? Lovely. So, these guys have been marching, which means they're all very tired, which is going to come in handy. Sorry, we're doing a little bit of damage there. The luck, the artillery will open up. That's the good stuff. That's right. Well, maybe not hit the Skaven Slaves. Hit the hit the Storm Vermin. The Storm Vermin are a high-value target. So we can take chunks out of them. Need to upgrade this tower. Ah, oh, perfect. However, I was a little bit concerned. They seem to be heading around. They they could have potentially gone this way. I was like, oh no. That would be bad. Because then they, they, there's literally no one stopping them here. I'd have to redeploy and then I'd be out of position. And basically that would be a pain in the ass. But then they changed their mind to the side to head for all my units instead, which is great. Say, like dealing with these characters is going to be the main issue because uh, I have only got ants who is currently busy trying to deal with Tretch, and this is working, this is going very slowly. He is losing health, but it's taking a while. Just trying to take out the uh, Slingers. Missile units opening up on the, I mean, the Skaven Slaves, to be honest, we don't really need to worry about. It's more the, the more fire throwers, just in case they get into a position where they could 
do some damage. The AI is very good at getting its units into exactly the the sweet spot. Get them exactly in the right place to get a shot off with the maximum amount of devastation. So taking them out quickly would be good. I'm going to return fire there, but our dwarves weathering that quite nicely. And the wolf rats. And they got poison attacks. Fortunately, they don't have the uh, the armor piercing variant, which have been significant. I mean, to be honest, if I were them, I would have sent the wolf rats all the way around here just to be a dick. But uh, they decided to throw them directly into my front line, which I'm fine with. Here comes the swarm. They do not like being shot. Meanwhile, uh, Tretch is running away for a minute, so we're knocking out this, we're killing as many Skaven Slave Slingers as possible. These guys have finished dealing with all of their units. They can now come back into the city and hopefully try and make it over to this side to reinforce. But again, the city's so big, that's going to take time. Fish in a barrel. Trying to get the artillery in there as well. Get that tower upgraded to a cannon tower. Because, I mean, shooting into this big old blob here. It can't miss. There we go. That's the good stuff. Uh, enemy general. Chieftain. Packmaster. Still, that cannon, legit. Probably should have got another one over here. We could have gotten on here. I should have saved all of my supplies, built cannons here. This would have been a piece of cake. No, cannons are too powerful. Well, yeah, if you blob up into a massive blob like this, yes, they're going to be too powerful. Like, you turn yourself into a big target, yes, they're going to target you. Meanwhile, Tretch is uh, still still alive, but low health and running away again. They don't like it up, do they? So Tretch is being dealt with. He's being routed. That's fine. The main issue now is going to be this, because our dwarf warriors and miners are holding the line, but they're struggling a little. Plus, I've put I, I moved my quarrelers and put them on auto shoot, and they decided just to not shoot. I had to tell them to shoot, and then they went, oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, thanks guys. Really fucking useful. I do find... You missile units, you can leave them on auto-shoot, but if they if if their auto-shoot decides to target something that they can't see, they'll just go, okay, I won't shoot. Even if there's something else right next to them they could shoot, because they've decided to target the thing that they can't shoot at, they just won't shoot. So you have to tell them to shoot at something. I mean, mostly it's fine, but sometimes you just notice the missile units aren't doing as much as they should be, and it's I think it's most of the time it's because they're targeting something they can't actually shoot at, and they just don't bother. So if you tell your units to shoot something, then they will shoot something, but sometimes you'll target something, they go, oh, I can't actually see that, and then start moving into melee combat. And I know people are going to go, oh, you just put them on guard mode, but I do put them on guard mode, they decide to wander over anyway. I swear, guard mode only works half of the time. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. We're whittling down the balance of power. Shifting, which is good, but we still got to deal with the, the, the mostly storm vermin and also the enemy generals, which are going to be the main problem. The master assassin has made a breakthrough, and uh, he is, I mean, he's pretty good in melee combat, but his, his actual missile attack is, is significantly nastier, and he is going to start shooting at my grudge thrower so he's going to try and take that out which is problematic okay one of the one of the chieftains is a little bit low on health which is good this is it's fine it's fine a little bit of a knife edge but it's fine tretch has fled the battlefield no he hasn't he's still there he's still fighting i thought he'd fled the battlefield he had not how many kills has he got like nine is that it nine that's shit Mate, you shit. I mean, Ant's only got 23, but he's got he's definitely like taken out taken out quite a lot of Treacher's health. Good. Okay, they're gonna keep doing that. Amazing that he's managed to keep us occupied for that long. 
Uh, our line is starting to uh, to thin out a little bit here, but so's theirs with most of their actual infantry units fleeing the battlefield and just their characters continuing to fight on. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, target fleeing units, but then we're going to actually target the Master Assassin, because as you can see, he's actually done a good number on those grudge shows. Only two guys left, and I think he's probably going to eh, kill them as well. Never mind. It's a garrison unit. It'll come back anyway. Okay, well, you may have taken out my grudge thrower, but enjoy a large number of crossbow bolts embedded directly in your fucking skull. Yeah, he does not. He's not a big fan. He's taking a huge amount of damage. Oh, this line's very thin. So our miners have actually arrived. Finally. Take him out. Kill him. Kill him. What level is he? Out of interest. He's only level four. He's making a break for it. He's gone. Okay, that's one down. One down, three to go. Oh, some more fire throws managed to spray me. One of my units obviously followed. That's fine. That's fine. We're just going to uh, keep it. The oh, oh, army losses. Army losses. And ah, oh, they're gone. Fuck. The city's safe. City safe. As long as I don't have like a third army hiding somewhere nearby. Okay, we successfully doggedly held on. Did lose the the artillery, and that army is still fairly scary. Let's take the money, and with any luck, you'll fuck off. You have fantastic. Oh, mind you, that army was marching, wasn't it? So it's dead. They died. They're out of there. I wonder if Tretch will peace out now. I mean, he'll be back, but I don't have the army to deal with him. No, apparently they weren't. They weren't. No, you don't want to be friends. Oh, I thought you would be dead if you'd fought in a march. But maybe it's only the army that fought? I don't fucking know. It doesn't really matter. Not important. Right, let's get some more miners. Our garrison is replenishing. We're in a much better place now. We'll get some army uh, up there. Hello. Mm, do we hear that a lot? Okay, we don't need that just yet. We've got Grimnir's heirs, which is fine. Uh, we, I mean, more missile damage, tactician, that kind of thing. Uh, thunder. We, I mean, eventually, we probably want to go thunder, but. Maybe not right now. Yeah, mm, mm. On the other hand, more chance to intercept. Oh, it could just come in. It's one of those things. It could come in. Could come really, really use. Really useful. I reckon if I sit an ambush here, you'll probably blunder into me, and then I can fuck you up. Well, you can say no, but it's going to happen. I know it does, mate. I know. All right. Once we've got ants, I mean, ants done a fucking amazing job. Can we just full full round of applause? A bit applause for ant there for just fucking being a boss. Oh, what a guy. Karakadron is nicely defended. I have to keep an eye on Nashrak's lair, though. Um, we won't really have much time. To head down to deal with that. What well, current severity is forty. A moderate chance. For the wisdom of Valea. A moderate chance. Well, maybe moderate, but ain't there. But we do have a couple of. I'm going to use those as um, if we the if we need reinforcements, that's again. where they're going to come from. It's so either ant or deck. And deck. That's what we want. All right. Let's see if we can lure you in. Let's get some more money because we're going to need a shit ton more armies to deal with all this bollocks we're having to deal with. Oh, if only Tretch would fuck off and leave me alone. Oh, we did get the ambush. That means I won't have to deal with his war, which is fucking delightful.
Oh, that didn't look good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Grudge throwers, no. 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 What is it with artillery and being a dick to me recently? Unbelievable. Well, the enemy general is completely and utterly fucked already. This means we can deal with Snaz, the river troll hag. I'm gonna send Ungrim to deal with her. Boop. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna, gonna do the do the trick. Meanwhile, our slayers dealing with the majority of the infantry and down the lower portion of the column. Something pump wagons being annihilated by the troll hammer torpedoes and then seen off by Garim and some more slayers. The missile units being minced. I mean, they are only goblin archers, which means it's going to be, well, taking candy from a baby and then brutally murdering the baby before the baby can shoot you with a nasty arrow. Most of the enemy army is now fleeing the battlefield since we've killed all their command units and decimated the rest of the enemy army. Can't help but feel that my artillery is still doing me damage. Never mind, we didn't take too much damage dealing with this. I, w I would like to wipe this army out because obviously it's got a war attached to it, but doing as much damage as possible would be nice too, so I I'll take it. Well, that sent you packing, didn't it? Did he march or didn't check to see if his units were tired or not? You are not welcome, so I won't. Oh, don't do it! Don't do it, Dusty! You shit! You piece of shit! You complete dick! All right. Well, For the wisdom at the least, player. at least we have you know something here now. It's. It's fine. You, you you weren't marching. You did get your ass kicked, though. Which is nice to see. Yeah, I'm going to go Rune of Slowness. Now, uh, does this have a garrison? No, but you still have your war. Weirdly, it is bigger than your normal army. Hmm. Do I... Do I engage... Do I engage? That's the question. It is time. I'm a little bit concerned about them coming coming down to Nashrak's lair. There's not really much I can do about that. I think we have to go on the offensive, even though I'm a bit battered. Can't see what... I mean, the garrison's piddly. The slayer in me seeks death. I feel like we're going to take a lot of damage doing this, but they are marching, so they'll be tired. I would like some time to build siege equipment, but I'm not going to have that chance. So I'm just going to have to do this the hard way. Got artillery, so I may as well do some damage to the walls. Makes sense. There's, a, there's an Empire version of the settlement which doesn't have this, I don't think. I think this is open. Which I think is a bit more of a hill, isn't it? It kind of goes up. There's a hill here, I think. There's definitely one exactly like this. It's a weird settlement because you've got two sections of the wall, this one and this one over here, which are effectively not covered by towers. So if you attack either of those sections, basically you can just get inside the city without having to worry about towers. It makes the towers completely fucking useless. I have no idea why that is a thing. Right? Weird. Isn't it weird? Is that just me? It feels weird. This is also one of those ludicrously giant cities where the victory location, which is all the way back here, I don't... I think the only time I've made it there is with a fast unit just going to grab the objective for shits and giggles. I don't think I've ever actually fought my way towards it. And not the end of the world, but still. Guys, these walls, I mean, they've, they've definitely got more health, haven't they? Even though this one is like, I, I guess, I guess the, this is a, like, racial capital, so it's slightly different. There's so many exceptions, aren't there, to rules in Warhammer 3. You're never entirely sure what you're going to get. 
So we've made an entree. Got some slayers currently hacking away at the door there. Uh, it's going to take a little while to uh, to break through, but that's fine. We're in no great rush. Especially now that because only you can only rebuild towers once, it's less of a threat to take your time in a siege. Before, it was kind of like you had to sort of rush because the more, you know, if you took an objective, you could... They wouldn't stop. They'd stop rebuilding towers and that kind of thing. But now you can rebuild. I mean, you just wait until the tower's built, destroy it. They can't rebuild it now. So, so we're going to take our sweet time cutting through these orc boys who currently have zero armor, which is not a great amount of armor to have when you're fighting slayers who are great against low armor targets. And large units. But, like, you know, if you've got no armor, these slayers are going to fucking annihilate you. Because orc, orc boys have good weapon strength for their for their tier. Slayers have got more. Slayers have got 59 weapon strength. Oof. Of course, the war has turned up, despite the fact that this army no longer has enough units to support it. It's apparently fine. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where the war... I guess the only time that would... I, I, it wouldn't happen to the player very often, would it? But the, the AI sort of gets that likelihood to, to lose its main army, but maybe not its war. So it gets to keep its war. Bit weird. We're going to bring in the rest of our slayers. Now we've taken out the gate, and our missile units are going to take up position on the wall and create a bit of a killing zone, because our main issue is going to be missile units. So we've got a lot of goblin archers here, and I don't want to see them anymore. Well, goblins and, and orc arrow boys. So there goes a little flamey ring. And then we're going to batter them with the artillery, which is outside the city. Meanwhile, missile units are taking up position on top of the walls. So we can just shoot at anything in range, basically. I Acc accidentally got mixed up and sent some slayers on top of the wall. Um, and I didn't realise. Trolls charging into a... a, 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 a a veritable horde of slayers is an interesting move, but they're not the smartest of creatures, are they? So these green skins are now completely surrounded. The balance of power is currently 50-50. Taking a little bit of fire there from uh, missile units, but our boys are about to return the favour. Artillery doing a bloody good job. Okay, so what I would like to see is the enemy just keep filtering units into this killing zone because this is a this is a fucking killing zone. These guys have got this much range because they're on the wall. Also, apparently it's really hard to get your your units on the wall to shoot at a tower for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. I kept telling them to shoot at the tower. They did not want to. I thought they were, but they were just accidentally clipping it. Bit weird. Not the biggest problem, but still, a bit weird. Um, I'd been using my artillery to target the tower, but it turns out that that's actually probably a bad idea because the artillery is a little bit inaccurate and it, it probably won't hit the hit the tower. River trolls charging in to a killing ground, a crossfire, and their main objective being the Slayer King. I mean, who's the real suicidal idiots here? Yeah, they, they suddenly just say that they suddenly realise that. Oh shit! No, maybe not. Maybe not. However, there is a, a feral wyvern. Wyvern? Wyvern? I always, I've always called it a wyvern, but I've heard it's been called a wyvern. It might just be there's two ways of saying the same fucking word. So we'll send Ungrim up to go and probably like three hit it because I mean, wyverns aren't great units. Their weapon strength is okay, um, but their melee attack and melee defense is pretty poor. They've got no breath attack. They go on a rampage. They're not, they're not the, they're not, the, they're not the best. Um, they do have poison attacks because they've got like a stingy tail. So that's something. But what I didn't want is the, the wyvern like chucking my missile units off the wall because that's a really good way to kill, kill missile units. So I was bringing Ungrim in. So he's decided to attack the, the Quarrelers. 
We'll get Ungram in here and... Ooh, that's a big chunk of health. And you also got sundered, sundered your armor. He's going to fly away because, yeah. But then he goes he goes, goes out of control. So he decides to land to, to attack the creature that was just murdering him. And decides to lose even more of his health, which is great. Ungram is going to just fucking annihilate this guy. He's, he's not doing great, is he? Oh, that's so much damage being done. Come on, don't run away. Be game. He's losing about, what, 600 hit points each time Ungrim hits him? Which is uh, it's pretty rough. Okay, how's it looking? So, we've managed to kill roughly about 1,000 of them so far. It looks like we are going to... They're, they're holding back, so it looks like we're going to have to go into the city to, to rootle them out. No big deal. We can deal with that. Kill off as many of the, their missile units keep wanting to try and take pot shots at us, and it's a terrible idea. Because we're on the wall, we get additional range, which means that uh, shooting these little green bastards directly in the face is pretty fucking easy. Yeah, there you go. Good night, Vienna. Uh, Wyvern is coming. He's, he well, again, not, not the most clever creatures have decided to come back and attack my Thunderers, who managed to get some shots off at it for some... I don't even, I don't, not entirely sure how that works, but never mind. Ungrim is coming to help out against it, because I'm going to be honest, another couple of hits and that thing is dead. Okay, the Goblin Archers are out of here. Okay, well, we've managed to clean out a significant portion of the enemy army, but we are going to have to uh, get our hands dirty, advance... Come on, land. Land. There we go. Ungrim, can you... You're in the way of Ungrim, the Slayer King. Get out of the fucking way. He wants to... There we go. And down he goes. Gosh. Oh, kind of exploded a dwarf. Landed on one. Never mind. Okay, so... I'm going to do that. I have to do this the hard way. I was trying to take out the tower up here. It's not doing too much damage. People got really up in arms about, like, towers and how much damage they were doing, but really, they don't really do that much damage. They're kind of annoying at best, but they are just kind of annoying. That's that's basically it. So I'm not, I'm not super invested in taking it out. It doesn't really need to die. So, killing as many goblin archers as possible. Ungrim has descended into the midst of a horde of green skins to go and murder a lot of them. The enemy general is... Oh, there he is. He's the guy that got away from our little ambush. So we'll just stick around here, just taking out as many golden archers as possible as our slayers begin their advance further into the city. Our missile units are going to push up the wall, take up position here, and create a new killing ground. Meanwhile, the other crossbows on this wall are going to come off and just, you know, just sit on the ground and shoot people instead. I genuinely don't know what they could do to kill Ungrim. I think Ungrim might be invincible, effectively. 21 ward save, 5% physical resistance, 15% missile resistance, 60%... 60% spell resistance. He's got Frenzy. He's unbreakable. He does have a healing potion, which means if they manage to do enough damage to him that makes me use the healing potion, he'll just get all his health back. Okay, our slayers are splitting up into three groups. The first group is going to advance up this ramp into these goblin archers, basically try and kill everyone up here and grab this objective. There's another blob of slayers currently moving up this way. It's going to engage stopping pump wagons and the trolls. And then a couple of units of slayers are going to come to help Ungrim with this this blob of uh, of orc boys. Now we have managed to capture the towers, which means the towers will help us out. If any enemy units flee outside the city, the towers will fucking blat them. Ungrim's up to 160, 170 kills, I should say. 2,000 damage dealt as gold, and he's absolutely a wrecking face. Meanwhile, we're taking a little bit of missile fire over here. There are still some orc... I mean, arrow boys are basically the problem. The more of these guys we kill, the better, because they're the ones that are going to be doing a lot of damage to our slayers. Our slayers, of course, are unarmoured. 
and uh, they don't have any missile resistance at least until they hit our gold chevron until they hit gold chevron and we get the skill they'll get a little bit of missile resistance and always physical resistance i think a little bit of physical resistance 10 percent physical resistance which is something um does whirling i thought they had like whirling blades which gave them whirling axes deflect incoming missile fire Oh yeah, they've got like a bronze shield. I'd forgotten that. Yeah, okay, so they do they do have a bronze shield, which means they take 30% less missile damage from front, which that's not bad. That's as good as goblins at taking missile damage, I guess. And orc boys. I think I think dwarf warriors have a silver shield. I'm fairly sure they've got a silver shield. Either way, the slayers are mincing these green skins, no problem. Hacking their way through them. Uh, the green skins and about cut their army in half. Continuing to take a lot of missile fire here. As long as the unit doesn't die, we should replenish very, very quickly. So uh, if any unit starts looking like they're they're about to be wiped out, we will bring bring them out of combat and keep them safe. And that way, after the battle, they will replenish, which is fine. We haven't fought Azhag yet. Thank goodness for small mercies. But he is still out there somewhere. And my concern is, where? I hoped he'd be near Vlad. But I don't know who else he's at war with. He's just managed to, he's managed to wipe out Dreyker and curb stomp Vlad. And I don't think I've ever seen Vlad get curb stomped before. Makes me very suspicious about how powerful Azhag has become this quickly. And it makes me wonder whether there's like... I know there's like a potent... There's, there's like a modifier, isn't it? Like potential, which... But I thought it only affected unit, like, uh, like factions you hadn't met yet, not factions you definitely had started right next to. Because Azhag, Azhag seems very fucking strong. Like, very fucking strong. He's strength rank, I think, 7 at the moment. It's fucking insane. Okay, we are taking this minor supply location, which will knock down four towers and six barricades. Shit me, that's a lot of towers and barricades. Jesus. From that one. There's only one and three there. One and one. Jesus, this is so imbalanced. What the fuck? <laughs> that's got one and two. What the fuck? This one's got four and six. Are you shitting me? What the fuck? That's insane. Gee, that's so unbalanced. What the fuck? Oof. Okay, Ungrim and the Slayers are currently chasing, routing, and not routing goblins. Quite battered little force here is currently advancing on some more missile units. Taking some fire. Ooh, okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And we've managed to rout some sorting pump wagons thanks to the troll hammer torpedoes who are now moving up to engage some more Kara boys. Helping Garim there. No, oh, but looks like with a few volleys of troll hammer torpedoes, the enemy army starts to shatter. And we have liberated Drakenhof. I say liberated, I mean obviously we're moving in. I'm not gonna lie, that was rough. That was rough. I think we're just gonna occupy it. Uh, as long as there's no more green skin armies nearby, I can't see them, but it doesn't mean they don't exist. It's not. Uh, it's not saying anything we can't take back. Right, okay, so we're gonna go. We've got. Okay, we've got Grimnir's heirs, which is great. Um, more ammunition. Would be. Super good. We are going to be fighting green skins. Uh, we probably aren't going to be anywhere near that. Rune of speed, don't really care about that. Rune of slowness can be kind of useful, so we'll grab that one. And we have Castle Drakenhof. 
Yeah, well, we could get gold, but to be honest, I think casualty replenishment rate is probably going to be significantly more useful. Now, Vlad does still have settlements in the area, which means he might be raising armies to try and fend off Azhag's assault, um, which is great. This army is, I mean, it's still, it's still not fantastic. Uh, World's Edge Archway, we could always upgrade you. Let's go with that. Time for a reckoning. Deck has got a bunch of slayers. I would like more missile units, but I'll take what I can get. My concern is they're just going to throw like a bajillion stacks at me. Especially because he's he's also warring at the moment, so that's double trouble. Oh, I don't like you. Oh, I thought you were a, a warlock engineer. You're not. You're just a just a plaguey boy. I mean, I don't like the plaguey boy either. Do not not a fan. Still, the World's Edge Archway. Ah, of course you did. You son of a bitch. Okay, five turns of plague. Urgh, that's not great. Yes? Jesus. Okay, thanks for the update. Um, I do have the World's... The, the, the old World Campaign mod installed. I'm wondering if maybe that's fucking with this and maybe I should have taken it off. Oh, well, never mind. Is that maybe... Have I maybe fucked? Because you've got your quest, right? When do we get that? Do we have a quest? Slayer Crown. I mean, I guess I can always teleport? Probably not a problem. Probably not going to teleport now, though. The Slayer King. Uh, right. I must fulfill my Slayer Oath. I could potentially just give this back oh, to Vlad to maybe protect this, like take them out. The problem is giving that to Vlad will piss off everyone who doesn't like Vlad, and a lot of people don't like Vlad. I don't really care. I grow restless. How much money can we make from sacking that? Hmm, it's not a huge amount. I really don't want the plague. I don't want the lurgy. Let us begin. And you are recruiting multiple stacks there, and that is going to kick our ass for four turns. I'm just going to sit there and just take it, I think. I don't know what else I can do, really. If I just run away, I'll probably, probably take it anyway. Uh, so, let's go and... Pray I meet with Grimnir. Well, no. We're just going to sack that. The slayer in me seeks death. And we're going to fall back. Get that. Yes. Get that the replenishment. I am the uh, okay, good. When throw battles against the greenskins, we've got some more money, some more oath gold. A celebration, apparently. That's nice. Everyone's, everyone's enjoying that, which is lovely. That's great. Do we have any... Uh, I want to take Oakenhammer, but with only one army in the area. I mean, how strong is Azhag now? I mean, that's actually not as bad as I thought. It might be that we took out one of his primary stacks, and now he's sort of scrabbling to, to reposition his forces. So maybe that's good. I mean, basically what I need is, ideally, more money. Can't really do okay, well, the only thing we can do is upgrade that, I guess. What what grudges do we have? Right. Recapture Karakungal. Right, that is definitely on my list of things to do. Don't worry. Karag Vlag. Right, that's quite far away, but yeah, I'll note that as well. Win three battles against Silver. I mean, they might just be dead fairly soon, so... Um, I'm not 100% sure. Take Silver Pinnacle. Again, yeah, I would like to. I mean, my main my main concern is dealing with Tretch in the south, and I've got nothing... Re oh, no, there's lots of there's lots of stuff kicking off. Fellow Dowie, it is an honour. Yeah. How you doing? Are you doing all right? I get the feeling I'm going to be surrounded by enemies fairly soon, by the looks of it. Tribe Lord. Uh, Sylvania quite likes me. Obviously, Azhag hates my guts. Clan Rictus. Only at war with me. The problem is, they're probably... The fact that... Yeah, so... Because... 
because the AI factions don't want to declare war on each other, but they hate me, they'll declare war on me and then bond over the fact that they hate me. And therefore make a giant military alliance blob, which is... I, I see it happen quite often and it always feels like bullshit. And unfortunately, no one who... I mean, the dwarves not doing particularly well. There's lots of... I mean, I'm guessing this is Clan Moors down here. I don't know. Do I have... I haven't met Scrag, have I? How do you feel about... I bet you're, friend, you know, you're at war with the dwarves, which means you're probably going to be friends with Clan Moors. It feels very... It feels desperate at the moment, because I don't have a... I don't have a full stack down here to deal with this problem. I've only got one stack to deal with it. I've got a piddly little army here. I'm only making one, one and a half K per turn. This is, this is why the Beastmen and the Changeling campaigns are so are so stress-free. It's because you don't have stuff to defend. If I, don't, I, don't, if I don't have stuff to defend, I won't have to worry. Happy days. Oh, okay, that's that one. That's fine. Okay, there doesn't seem to be another enemy army here, but I'm really concerned about the north because I just don't have an army to deal with that. And if they throw, like, a couple of stacks in that direction, you know, what, what the fuck to do? What the fuck do you do? For the wisdom okay, I'm going to run back here to try and not catch the plague. Because if I catch the plague, the problem is the plague, every time it spreads, it spreads at five turns. I'm not entirely sure if it should be doing that or whether that's a bug. <laughs> okay, I don't think they can... So we're going to go and retake Oakenhammer. I say retake. We're going to take Oakenhammer because there's a little army there. Oh, you're going to kill my giant slayers. With fucking what? I mean, obviously, I'm not going to let them just kill my giant slayers. Fuck right off. Fuck that. In fact, I'm going to do this without... With, with, I'm going to lose a handful of dwarves in this battle. If fucking that. We'll push up with our crossbows and our handguns and the troll hammer torpedoes. And we're going to shoot the enemy to death. Because the handguns will shoot. If they decide to charge us, then the troll hammer torpedoes will have a go. In the meantime, our, cross, our crossbows will just whittle them down. And uh, we'll just advance slowly. Using the artillery to bombard them all the time. I mean, what? how, how did you think this battle was going to go, guys? You know, riddle with riddle with bullets and crossbow bolts. So fuck you. Ungrim and Garim are going to advance. Mostly because there's nothing in this enemy army that could even vaguely touch them. They got five percent ward save. That's not bad. Fire resistance, which no one cares about. I mean, 120 armor. You got 30 melee defense. I mean, you're not that tanky, but Ungrim makes up for it. Mostly because I could probably use Ungrim to uh, kill this entire enemy garrison. It would just take ages. And I can't be asked. I love how they try and shoot the, the characters. Because it's not really going to help them very much. And uh, the real threat is, is currently shooting them. So Garim is going to engage these guys, keep them busy, and then Ungrim is going to engage the Orc boys over here, keep them busy. Crossbows moving up. I mean, we could bring the Slayers in, but I don't think we need to. Guys getting absolutely swatted. 
They are having a bad time. Oh, off they go. The artillery taking out those missile units, which are basically the only real threat. Garim. He's got a queue. He's got a queue of boys waiting to, waiting to fight him. Which is fine by me, because uh, my missile units are going to make fairly short work of them. You can shoot them, can't you? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Lots of crossbow bolts. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, looking at numbers. Yeah, I think we're doing alright. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is fine. Unless you happen to be an orc, of course. In which case you're having a ruddy bad time. Ungrim's found some goblins to deal with. How many left? Uh, we... Oh yes, we've killed... Killed about a third of their army. Goblin archers getting whittled down. They're facing the wrong way as well. They're not even facing towards us. They're facing out of the barricade because... There we go. And then... Yep. Get shot to pieces. Lovely stuff. More orcs now flooding into the centre. I think they're trying to protect this. Because they they can probably see that we're quite close to it. Not sure where these guys are going. I was going to hit them with a, a rune of wrath. They turn around. Which is actually absolutely fine. Because then the crossbows can shoot them in the back. There's a little, little flamey ring thing. Just to kill as many goblins as possible. Mopping up. They... Okay, so we've lost no one. And they have lost quite a few. To be honest, what surprised me about this battle is just how long the garrison held out. Like, they did not break. They they were they were not breaky boys. They did not want to run away. Because I thought, ah, basically any second. Any second now, they're just going to turn around and run. But, oh, they, they fought. They kept fighting. I'm not entirely sure why. Aren't you really sad? Lord died recently. Friends routing. Damage sustained. Flanks secure. Other 15. I'm assuming it's maybe this? This has got a... But even then... I mean, normally, normally army losses take... I mean, look look at this. The balance of power is so in my favour. Like, it's just... It's, it's bonkers. Like, I have won this battle. There is no way they can win this this fight. I, I've, I've won. Taking this little objective there, just for funsies. So units now taking out anything within range. And the Slayers are starting to move in. Because, I'm going to be honest, I... I was, just, I was just like, oh, let's get this over and done with. Right? We, this is, we've won. Give up. Got a long queue of, of gob... I mean, how many units have they actually got? So they've got they've got a unit of goblins there. They've got a unit of orc boar boys. Who are terrible. Um, they've got a few, like, half units. And then these guys here, and that's it. That's all they've got. That's just... It's useless. They've only got two full units, and one of them's boar boys. Who are fucking garbage. I genuinely don't know what you would use a unit of Orc Boar Boys for. You'd be better off just getting a unit of Orc Boys. They're better. Okay, well, that's that unit routed. Um, there's not much... How many guys have they got left? 500... So they've got... They've got about a third of their army left. I've lost no one. And they're still... <laughs> they're still the fuck. I mean, okay, they, they, they've got some more caraboys there. There's, there's something. Um, but th that's basically it. And yet they're still going. Which is really, Occasionally you just get a battle where you go, why the fuck have you, haven't you broken yet? Like, what the fuck is going on? And this is one of those battles where I, I'm... I'm genuinely surprised that this is going on this long. This should have been over about, I don't know, two minutes ago? So the Orc Boar Boys charge it. We're now, we're now advancing on, on the capital objective there. Do a little Rune of Wrath and finally, finally, finally the enemy garrison breaks and runs. 
Jeez, guys. You really wanted to kill those giant slayers, didn't you? Yeah, didn't didn't think that was gonna gonna be that bad. I grow restless. God, yeah, tell me about it. Okay, the garrison there's pretty weak. However, I don't think there's anyone in range. We would like to take Karak Dromar. Well, you go and eat a squig then, because to be honest, I don't give a shit. Okay, we want ideally less spready plague building. Uh, this plague is going to be an absolute fucking nightmare to deal with. It's going to hit everything. Um, I mean, it might might circle back and hit Tretch as well. And Tretch isn't Skrulk, so it'll be a dick for him too. Let's get some more cash, because I really do need more money. One rag. The slayer in me seeks death. Let's go and grab Tactician, then we can get Rally, and then we can get... Nope. Nope. Honoured by Grimnir. There we go. More melee attack, weapon strength, and physical resistance for our slayers, of which we have many. Not all of them are gold chevron yet, but still. Oh god, no no more. I mean, low chart. I mean, I, I agree. No, in fact, we're, oh, we're at 39, actually. We're not, we're not at 40. We're at 39. Yes. I can count, Ungrim. I can count. I don't strike the runes. Um, maybe. Okay, rune negation seems pretty legit. We'll grab that one. I don't. I mean, this army's this army's fine. Uh, we have only got making nine hundred and twenty-four. For a reckoning for the wisdom of Valea. Oh, Thorgrim, please be not be shit. Oh, you've got plague as well. Skaven plague, literally the worst plague. Okay, don't worry about it. We're fine. We're fine. Have we got any Power deals? Oh, Vlad, I don't want to be your friends. I don't... I do not want to be your friends. I want you to fuck off, ideally. <sighs> right. You... Our oh, strength rank 7. That's scary. We've got 50 settlements. That's very scary. You're 42. I mean, strength. I'm... <sighs> if you were at war with someone else, you've got 7 settlements. Lord. Oh, that's really bad. That's really fucking bad. Oh, I need to link up with the Empire and hope to God they're not getting rolled by Festus or something. Okay, the poll for next time is going to be, we've taken Castle Drakenhof. Do we want to return that to Vlad and hope that maybe with us bopping as Hag's armies that he can maybe get himself back on his feet and, you know, start hitting back? Or do we just keep it and expand into Sylvania? Maybe even crush Vlad himself. Remove him from the playing board. That's going to be the poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode, which I definitely will remember to put out. Or this one. I'll, I'll, I'll remember to put this one. That, that's fine. <laughs>